Hello, I am Major General Omar Jones, the Commanding General for the U.S. Army's Military District of Washington and a proud West Point graduate from the class of 1992. And I'm Rear Admiral Carl Lottie, the Commandant of Naval District Washington and a proud United States Naval Academy graduate from the class of 1989. For 364 days a year, our two districts stand side by side as part of Joint Task Force National Capital Region as guardians of our nation's capital. But once a year, one Saturday in December, we stand on opposite sides of the field with our teams. That's right, for over 120 years, our teams have faced off on the gridiron, and despite the pandemic, this year is no different. But this year is more important than ever that we celebrate and recognize these important traditions. And while we can't be in Mikey Stadium in person, we can still cheer for our, our alma maters and cheer for our teams. A absolutely, and I, I look forward to uh, Navy having the opportunity to beat Army on your home turf. That's okay. I look forward to watching busloads of midshipmen heading south on I-95 after their significant loss to Army on Saturday. Because in the Army, winning matters. How about we make this a little bit more interesting? What do you have in mind? Uh, the loser sings the winner's service song on video. That's pretty good. I'm going to take it up a notch, though. How about the loser, and in your case, all of the sailors in our Joint Task Force sings the Army song next week after the Army wins? Uh, as long as you'll have all these soldiers sing the Navy song after the Navy wins, I accept on behalf of the Navy. It's a bet. Go Navy, beat Army. Go Army, beat Navy.